them hoes biting they lip. Cause when I say shit like that, she feels some type of way. I hit it from the front, from the side, from the back, I hit it all type of ways. She throw it at me like I'm just one sh Hey YouTube. I have a high fever here with a Minecraft video. This is gonna be a brand new series about the Aether 2 mod and it's not like this just came out or anything but if I were to do just a simple survival video with no mods or anything nobody will watch it I mean nobody watches that stuff anymore there's just so many videos on it so many tips it's just not fun without mods anymore so <clears throat> without further ado let's get started uh, real quick I'll just show you the mods I installed Optifine you know uh, Minecraft Coder Pack, Mod Loader for Forge, Minecraft Forge, Player Core API, Third of Lightning, Aether 2, and Main Menu API. So that's just really performance stuff. It's not really affecting the game except for the Aether 2 mod on the Forge and Optifine. Because Optifine boosts your frame rates. Excuse me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna eventually start adding more mods to this just to make it more interesting instead of just having the Aether mod where it's the other dimension so right this first episode is going to start off with you know the regular survival type of thing you always got to start off somewhere and I'm starting off in the beginning <coughs> without any mods helping so without further ado let's get started now I wanted to record my Xbox One videos as I haven't uploaded in a long time. I believe a few months it's been since I last uploaded. Well, here we go. <coughs> and I wanted to start uploading more. Oh. <coughs> I started to want. Oh my goodness. My bad. I started to want to. This is just not working out at all. So, I wanted to create videos from my Xbox One where, you know, <clears throat> instead of just the PC Minecraft or the PC games, play. I wanted to play the console games, you know, the Xbox One. Let's just drop this down to 16. Uh, keep that at 120. You bobbing clouds, I guess that'll be fine. Uh, fuck, search near... Yeah, I'll just do point six. Oh, uh, don't want that at all. All right. Yeah, so I wanted to get in the console recording. Unfortunately, I found out the Xbox One. My Dazzle is not compatible with my. Um. Not compatible with my. You know. The Xbox One is not compatible with the Dazzle. Because it has an HDMI cable, which substitutes for the three splitters, you know, the audio and video splitters and such. So I'm just going to have to go to Walmart this week. I'm going to Walmart this week to get an AV converter. Let's just do everything fast. Capes off, because I don't have any capes. Stars on, we need the stars. So that I can record console games. Uh, Keep that sky off, what? And, uh, yeah. Hold on, be right back. Sorry about that. Little brother came down. So, uh, not exactly sure what I was saying before. But, uh, yeah. I, I plan to upload console game. Ooh, an apple. Okay. Nice way to start off this video. I plan to get the converter and start uploading console games as well. You know, Titanfall Beta, I'm going to get that when it comes out March 11th. Minecraft for the Xbox One, because I had it for the 360. And I loved it. So basically what the Aether 2 mod does, for those of you who don't know, but I believe most of you already know what it is. You can just Google it, go to Minecraft forum, but it adds another dimension to your Minecraft world universe, however you want to look at it. Um, <clears throat> so you have the Nether, which is the underworld, the overworld, technically it's called the overworld, or the surface world, which is this world right here the main world of Minecraft and then you have the Aether which is the sky world so basically 
it doesn't really complete the game, but it just adds the three main dimensions, I guess you can say, to the Minecraft game. Hey, Piggy. So, hopefully the series will go as planned and nothing will happen when I'm installing the mods, such as crashes, deletion that I have to do, because I had to do that before while trying to record. So, alright, well, there's enough wood. <clears throat> So really my plan, my goal for this video is to just build a little shelter and find a cave. That's really it. Because you can't really do much on the first night as much as people plan anyway. Just replant those. You just have to ride it out and make sure everything goes to plan. So, okay, I don't know if that's a glitch or what. But, as you can see, there are extra inventory spots here for gear. I will look up, you know, parts of the Aether mod that I don't know, because I am, I don't know most of the stuff to the Aether mod. Oh, let's add one more. Benchmarking. Yeah, I don't know many of the parts to the Minecraft Aether mod as it is very, very complex and difficult to understand. And there's a lot of stuff I don't understand how it works or how it makes you better. I know there's certain different types of armors, weapons, swords, food, etc. Mobs, of course. But that's just, you know, a general topic basis of the game that I understand. So let's, uh, I don't know, I don't know if I want to move here in the desert, because I like the desert because it's mostly flat, I mean like, you know, you have parts that are flat, let's get the sugar game, ow, hey squids, how's it chilling, how's it hanging, so uh, yeah, ooh, okay, alright, real quick, Sorry you had to see that uh, little disturbing view, um, but the squids invited me to play. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I just want to make a shelter for the night. You know, it's going to be a makeshift shelter, not, you know, I'm not going to go out searching for stacks and stacks of wood, wasting time. Uh, I'll just do that in later videos when we really need it. Ooh, okay, we're probably going to move on top of a mountain. A mountain's always nice because you're, you are, uh, you know, excluded from the mob activities, such as explosions by creepers, getting shot at by arrows from skellies, spider jockeys are the worst, zombies trying to eat your flesh, and even <coughs> the notorious, I believe I said everything, Enderman, that's it, Enderman trying to teleport you and take your blocks. So, uh, ooh, this is not good, though. This is not good. As you can see here, there's a few... There's a few sandstone blocks holding up this sand, which obviously this is a glitch. This mostly happens in Minecraft because of the physics and uh, the coding. But usually once you destroy something like a block, it, the rest falls like that to the ground. Sometimes you'll get stuff that doesn't fall though. And uh, let me see if I can break this real quick. Okay, I guess not. It really doesn't matter. It's just a, uh, you know, little bug, I guess, that can't really be fixed at all. So, let's see. What I want to try and do for the later mods is I want to try and install like Things like the Clay Soldiers mod, which are, I mean, it's self-explanatory. Little Clay Soldiers that you can fight with and that fight for you, fight each other. It's really cool, the different colors and stuff. That's racist. Different colors and stuff like red, blue, yellow, purple. Yeah. And, uh, ooh, that's good, okay. So I want to get mods like that, the More Trees mod. Mo Creatures mod. The More Trees mod just adds, obviously, more trees to the game instead of just the regular oak trees. 
or pine trees that they already have here. Now unfortunately this is not 1.8 because the developers have not been able to update it to 1.8 yet or 1.7.3, 1.7.4, what I like to call 1.8. Um, it's probably going to take forever for them to actually update it to 1.8 because of the fact that there's so much coding and so much changes with the biomes and such. So, they don't have a release date for that. But once it comes out, I'm definitely getting it and going to 1.8. You can go away, wooden pickaxe. Now, Mo Creatures adds more mobs, and it's mostly more mobs to the surface world. What am I doing? Almost created wooden pickaxe again. So, it just adds more creatures to the surface world. Instead of having, uh, hold on. Alright guys, my bad about that again. Uh, you know, watching my little brothers and that's kind of what happens. You know, they like to annoy me. So, uh, yeah, all I did was mine out <coughs> some more cobblestone. Really, that's all I did. <coughs> Didn't go back with the squids or anything. Um, as you can hear, this beautiful light music is part of the Aether installation. These... Oh, hot topic. These right here is I believe they are coins when you get when you kill certain mobs like um, Aether mobs you'll get coins and that you can pick up and stuff. I'm not sure where you spend it on or how you spend it. I'm not sure if you have to be with your friends to spend it or anything. Okay, the sun is setting. So I'll I'll also look into that. But uh shelter real quick because this is not good. Uh, I'll just do makeshift shelter. I probably should have gotten more. Not a great plan. I will literally start having a list of goals and such. Um, you know, later videos. Like I will have just a list of goals on the side or something or just a checklist that we go through or that not really go through but just check off as we go to make sure we fit all our goals that we've wanted to hit like obviously I've not hit all my goals that I wanted to hit right now because I wanted to make a shelter by the video by this video and I'm probably just gonna skip night time because I mean really it's just gonna be me sitting in here cowering from the scary creepy monsters that come out at night time so I'm just going to put down the furnace here, let's make some torches, oh, don't want to use that, let's make some torches real quick, I'll just make five, so then you can do that, and I'm now protected from the creatures of the night, and I believe with that, we are just going to eat the rest of the apples, and after I will probably move out, actually, I'm not sure if that was a cave over there, or just the mountain, I think it was just a mountain, but I believe I heard zombies and such and mobs for a cave. So we will go exploring there next episode, and next episode I will obviously see you guys later. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, which you probably didn't, I mean I didn't, I know I didn't. <coughs> if you didn't like this video, drop a dislike, I guess. I mean, you know, dislikes are just like, they don't really matter as much as likes do, because... I mean, they do, because then it tells me, hey, you need to step up your commentary game. I believe I just said that wrong. Commentary game. Um, yeah, so, slap that like button. <laughs> give it a little hump. Slap. Thumbs up. Whatever you want. Because it increases my ratings, but it's not about the ratings. It's about the videos. Because if I'm making videos and no one's watching them, I mean, I'll probably still continue to make them. But, if it doesn't get as many views, that will discourage me into getting better at commentary. Which, obviously, we all need experience, and then we will get eventually better after a lot of practice. So, anyway, my name is I Have a High Fever. Subscribe if you would like, but if not, then that's okay, because you can still keep up with my videos. I'm not going to sit there and force you to subscribe or anything. Hey, click on this subscribe button. No, that's not how I work. It's just a free option opinion type of thing. Thank you guys for watching this video, this slow video, and I'm signing off for this episode. See you next time, guys.
Cause when I say shit like that, she feels some type of way. I hit it from the front, from the side, from the back, I hit it all type of ways. She throw it at me like I'm just one strong.